Hey guys, so Cebus Technology reached out to me and asked me to do a very short interview just as a way to introduce myself to the visual effects community and to also talk about some of the most recent projects that I am have been working on. So my name is David Jennings, I'm 26 years old. I live in Northern Ireland in a city not very far from Belfast and one of the most exciting things at the moment about Northern Ireland is that it is becoming a very popular location for filming not only TV series but also feature film. Some of the most recent projects that have happened here have been Dracula Untold as well as the, mo the most popular show on TV at the moment, Game of Thrones. I think it's incredible what they've been able to achieve with this production. I'm really excited for the future here in Northern Ireland for not only feature film but also visual effects. Currently I work in the cyber security industry for a company called White Hat Security where we identify vulnerabilities for organizations so they can help defend themselves from hackers. And then in my spare time, I'm a freelance visual effects and concept artist. I usually always keep myself very busy. I never like to waste any time. There's always a skill that I'm wanting to achieve or a project that I'm wanting to work on. And also I'm part of Alan McKay's FX TD and live action series, which has been an amazing experience so far. I've made a lot of friends around the world from being in this mentorship program and it's really helped develop my skills as an artist and has really given me a way to combine my creative abilities and also my technical abilities to create something really cool. So the first question is, David, tell us more about your work on the recent project, A World of Worlds. So. For the past seven months, I've been working as a concept artist and an illustrator on the new series A World of Worlds. The story itself takes place in a parallel universe in a world called Rasir. My role was to make the first movie posters. I worked very closely with the director for doing this. It was very challenging, but we did eventually come up with something that is really cool. So if you're interested in checking out more about the series, uh, you can actually watch it right now on Amazon Prime, UK, US and also SoFi TV. I'm really excited about this series. I'm also really looking forward to creating more posters. So if you want to find out more about the artwork, go to gainsentertainment.com. So the second question is, well, everyone in FX on Facebook has been talking about your Star Wars Sandstorm R&D and you know we are going to be more than stoked with your latest Venom project that has thinking particles in it. Is it going to be used for saliva drops or more? Yeah, it's been really cool to have had so much positive feedback from so many artists around the world. I'm so grateful for all the kind messages that I've received. And to anyone who doesn't know this, I actually have a breakdown on my Vimeo page where I talk about the different tools, the different software uh, programs that were used to make the shot possible. It was really challenging to work on, but I really enjoyed it. And it'll be super cool to work on another uh, Star Wars theme project in the future. Yeah, I'm super excited to be working on my own Venom project. I was really inspired by the movie that was released there recently and also by some of the work by Alan McKay on his own project. So the character Venom is very aggressive, which presents a perfect opportunity for me to create some very interesting fluid and tendril-like effects. Um, so I'm really excited to be using thinking particles for this project because I believe that it is an excellent tool and is very suited for my needs in this particular project. It has been proven time and time again that it, it is an effective tool in the hands of an artist, both in the industry and also personal projects. So I'm really excited to be working on this and I'll be posting regular updates on my Instagram account. So the third question is, ultimately David, after graduating from Alan McKay's FXTD mentorship, what kind of project are you seeking that will fire up all your creative adrenaline. 
Man, I've, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> uh, it would probably have to be a feature film project that I would, that's ultimately what I would love to work on. Uh, maybe something with large scale weather effects or fluids. Maybe something similar to the Exodus Gods and Kings movie that came out there a few years ago. I absolutely adore that movie. I think it's so cool and some of the visual effects in it are just so well done. And one of the really cool things about it is that Thinking Particles was actually part of the pipeline for that actual project. So yeah, it would have to it would be a feature film project that would get me really excited uh, someday. <laughs> Ready yourselves! So the fourth question is, David, what would be your favorite VFX scene from a movie that you watched? So yeah, it's gotta be Godzilla 2014. I love this movie. There was one shot that really did stand out to me and it was the airport scene where all the planes start to blow up one by one and the camera just pans across the airport terminal. I think the destruction and the pyrotechnics in it are just outstanding and it's quite a long shot as well it's not very normal to see such a, a long drawn out shot like that normally visual effects is very quick but I can only imagine the amount of simulation and pyrotechnics you know the amount of time it must have taken for that and even the rendering. MPC and Double Negative did a great job on this movie I listened to a talk in 2015 with some of the team from MPC at the Zebra Summit where they talked about how they actually created the creature Godzilla for the film and explained some of the technical challenges that they encountered. So I think they did an outstanding job on the movie. I can't wait to see the new one when it comes out. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. So yeah, it would definitely be the airport scene in Godzilla 2014. Anyway guys, this has been really great. I've really enjoyed answering these questions. A big thank you to Cebus for giving me this opportunity to do this Q&A. So if you're interested in following any of the work that I do or seeing updates regarding the Venom project or even a world of worlds, then feel free to follow me on Instagram and also on Vimeo where I'll be posting regular updates. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.